listen to the speech. I really tried to keep myself listening to it because yeah. it was so dull. But uh, the points he made... Dull in delivery. Been, or, uh, well, yes, but that could have been a speech made by Jeremy Corbyn with sincerity. There was oh, no sincerity go. in it. Right. It was just what people... He thought what people wants to hear. Right. No sincerity at all. OK. And I'm a lifelong socialist, and I yeah, wouldn't no vote kidding. for him. No. Well, there's a surprise, Ian. Oh, really? Yeah. I bet he had a really open mind before he started speaking. Well, he's had... All he's done is attack Sarcasm members emoji. of the Labour Party. <laughs> yeah, all right, mate. Former Have a great day. Uh, yeah, let's keep on fighting among each other, Ian, because that will really stick it to the Tories. Am I right or am I right, brother? That's what he's been doing. Come on, comrade, let's keep fighting. Let's let's go after him, because that will really teach Boris Johnson a lesson. Come on, comrade Ian, tell me again how awful Keir Starmer is. Well, he, he could have pulled up the government on points without being opportunistic. Right, an example of that? Well, example is with the terrible treatment of businesses who were stiffed by insurers over business insurance. And, and, and how, how can he, with four years until he gets into government, use well, that as a political he could have, leverage? He could have publicised it. Right. He could have. He could be. How do you? How do you know about it? Transport workers. How do you know about it? How do I know about yeah. it? Because I've been following the story in the financial press. So it's been publicised. Not. He hasn't stood up and, and championed the small guy right. against the big guy. Well, we listen. We listen to com- socialism. We listen Stand to completely. Di- Yay! Down powerful. with Labour, says our pocket socialist Ian, mate. Good luck. Should we do a quick rousing chorus of the red flag before you jog on? 